My name is Ashley Brandon. I'm running for the external vice presidential position. What do I do for fun? I actually, uh, I am a complete polo addict. I love playing polo, and I mean with horses, not water polo. I don't actually know how to swim, so <laughs> that is one of my favorite activities. And I'm, I'm also just a complete bookworm. My long-term goal, uh, at least at the moment, is to become a foreign service officer. And one step along that path, I would really love to be able to go abroad and teach English. I think that the name is really perfect for each of us for our various platforms. Um, for me, you know, as the external candidate, it would be connecting tech with leaders in the community, um, with really any kind of a leader I could get a hold of to talk to and, and um, lobby on behalf of our students. We are a very diverse group. Like I said, I'm the only Greek affiliated person on our executive board and um, I think that that brings an element of diversity that I don't really think SGA has seen yet. Um, we are campaigning with the first potential Hispanic um, president of our SGA and I think that that alone is something that sets us far apart and we all really have a passion. We, we all have you know that desire with the the resume in mind but more importantly you know we're here and we're all willing to make whatever sacrifice we need to to best represent um, our constituents, you know, a word that we used a lot in D.C., and basically our constituents are our student body and our peers. You know, we want to reach out to the people who don't vote, and, you know, one of my favorite things that I've been doing throughout this campaign process is I have two numbers that I like to give out to people uh, when we speak to them, and one of those is 15.3 percent. That's roughly the percentage of students that voted last year, and 100 percent. That's the percentage of students that are affected by what SGA passes each year. So as I like to tell every group that we speak to, you know, it would behoove you to get involved, and at the very least just to vote on Election Day. Yeah, so in high school I was on the track team and I was a cheerleader. I went um, three years on the cheer squad and I had an injury. Uh, so I had to quit both of those sports and I actually switched over to golf. With how my high school works, I actually uh, had the opportunity to be on varsity my junior year, but it, it was still very bittersweet because, you know, like you said, I had dedicated my whole high school career to that and I actually was hoping to have a track scholarship to attend college and all the things I had worked for um, literally in a second were snatched away. Um, that, that's really all that it took and I guess what I learned from that is that you really can't give up on trying to find somewhere to belong. Like I said, you know, with the team atmosphere of golf, um, that was the main element that I missed was having, you know, that group to just be with and, and learn all the facets about each other. And so um, I guess it showed me that, you know, there's, there's multiple ways to approach the same goal. Um, I actually, I spent four months in D.C. I was a congressional intern uh, last semester. And as anyone who reads the news headlines knows, that was a very rough time to be up there. We had a number of things happen that were, you know, rough, as I said, you know, to, to put it quite lightly. And I guess I was able to take those same experiences and apply that to my time in D.C. to see that, you know, we're going to get through this. We're going to find another way to go about it. And that's what I would really like to bring back is the experiences that Texas Tech actually asked me to, to gain and, and the skills they asked me to learn. I'd like to bring those back on behalf of our student body. And basically, you know, we all have dreams, we all have our goals. So um, in trying to achieve those, we're going to hit roadblocks. And, you know, there's more than one way to go about it. We can find a way.